What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. Once again, I'm Ralph. This is Amanda. And we thank you for joining us again. And today, we're doing a, a review for the Tupac biopic, All Eyes on Me. Uh, it was, uh, L.T. Hutton produced it. Uh, Benny Boom, uh, he directed it. He's done a lot of music videos. He's done some TV episodes and uh, things like that in the past. Um, so, uh, let's get into it. So, what do you think? <laughs> All right, so what, you want me to just give you, okay, so, <laughs> um, it was a story about Tupac, and it started with just the interview, well, actually him being locked up, it goes from year to year. His mother being pregnant with him, being incarcerated, incarcerated, and I thought this world was moving. You're gonna use this to jump out and say you hated it or you loved it. Um, <laughs> and then I, was gonna get into I didn't want to do that. Like, like alien. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to go out and just say it. Although I can, after seeing Straight Outta Compton. After seeing New Edition, and we are looking forward to uh, the Prince biopic. No, we're not. They already did one. It's called Purple Rain. We're good. <laughs> okay, but I am looking forward to that one. Um, I'm looking forward to Jealousy. I'm not. Who yeah. would I'm not. No. Yes. This one was, I was disappointed. Highly disappointed. Knowing that I am a Tupac <laughs> fan, I mean, well, I was a Tupac fan. I like Tupac. I guess I was a groupie. <laughs> <laughs> I was a groupie back in my spades. Hey, you played spades, you had to listen to Pac. It was required. But this hand one hand. here, I was like, and then it didn't help that we was in the movie theater with a whole bunch of Hood rat. <laughs> 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 it did not. <laughs> no. I was like, <laughs> it was some parts of the movie where everybody knows the story of Tupac. If you, um, not saying grew up with him, but everybody knows that he was best friends with Jada Pickett. That he was very high. I mean, he was highly educated. Um, even though he was not even though he didn't finish school, he knew some things and he was educated because of who his parents were. And they had no choice but to raise them knowing politics, knowing what uh, um, the world the world knew, mm -hmm. everything being, a, being, knowing what was going on around him, he had to be aware of what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, and it was some people in the audience that was acting like it was like a real Whoa. movie. Like, yeah! Woo! I'm like, this, what? Don't you know that this happened? 20 yeah. something years ago, though. <laughs> you better not say you liked it. You better not. <laughs> No, I, no, I didn't like it at all. Okay, for real? I'm being serious. I'm highly disappointed. I, really I am upset. Okay, because, okay, I'm very disappointed. I've heard critics and everything, and I've heard, seen interviews, and, you know, John Singleton walked away from it. He wanted to do some foul stuff, I heard, with the script and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what? Foul as in what? Though? Like, started off with him getting raped in jail and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, I'm like, okay, stop. Why it. did he want to start off like that? Who knows? That, why? I what? don't know. Yeah, but it. So I, I, I came in this movie. I'm gonna give my own my own opinion. I'm not gonna you know listen to the naysayers. 
you know, knew they changed directors mid film, had all kind of issues, whatever. But you I walked tell into this that thing they had issues. and it just did not flow. It didn't oh, do it did nothing. Not. It It was all over the place, was, baby. Maybe right. Maybe I maybe I was too much of a fan that I haven't seen all the interviews and everything they tried to do with the movie. I'd already seen Pop do it, so and and Kate, he tried. Bless his heart. The actor? Yeah. Demetrius tried. But Pop, man, he just... Nobody can portray him. He had the glow. Like Bruce Lee Roy. <laughs> just, he is just mere presence that would just leap out at the camera. I mean, it... it you know, I, I've seen all the documentaries. I've seen... A huge Pop fan, so... He was not afraid of the camera. Yeah, everything that they've... Every, if you're a big fan, if you around yeah. my age, everything that they've done in this movie, you've know you know about, you've seen. It is nothing new to you. If you've seen Pop part. do it himself, it's and to have somebody to imitate it, yeah, yeah, and to have somebody imitate it and not really mm, come off as him, you'll be dis. I, I was disappointed. I think I would been. I would have probably accepted it better. No, I don't know how young this actor is. Was he even he's born? Just, uh, probably not. Okay, not so sure. what I'm saying is, if they had found someone our age that looked like Tupac, and they could probably portray it better, because he came off a little, you know, we, okay, seeing Tupac, his attitude and his demeanor changed slightly yeah. after being with Shug. Yeah. Slightly. In when he was in movie, prison, he had a different different tone. I just seen all the prison interviews. Yeah. So I'm like, I know how he was in prison. Yeah. I feel like if you were not born around that time and you hear about Tupac this, Tupac that, so you want to go see this biopic to see if you can see what all the hoopla is about, I don't think it's gives it to you in full. I really don't. I think they would have been better off going to HBO and going the new edition route, going like, he needed more time. No, you know who they should have gotten to direct it? The guy who actually teaches his class. Oh. Um, the one who the they just did something with him recently, or he was on a movie. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The guy with the glasses, the one that always talks about Tupac. I and hate his him like him. Well, but you know what? He gets on my nerves. I know okay. you're talking about Michael Jackson. But he probably would have gave it a little bit more. Yeah, but it would have been. He's not a director like that. But no, I mean he's yeah. not a director. But I he's feel a, um, I feel like it was too. He's a professor. Condensed in, I feel like if they had to do um, a mini series route on HBO, so you could keep the cussing and keep all the uh, all that stuff in, it um, would have worked like that. I just okay because it starts off. It was too much. It, it was too much. They wanted to. It was too much. It was just too much. It wasn't edited right. It just like it felt like it. It, it was, was choppy, choppy, choppy. It didn't flow. The sc- it did not flow. Like the, the the score, as far as the surrounding sounds, to help elevate the story. <laughs> you know, which, like a lot of movies have strings and different orchestras and stuff like that. It just didn't work. I thought the lady that played his mother. I thought she acted. Good. She was excellent. I thought she did a good job. She was excellent. Yeah. If anything else, she was excellent. And yeah. my boy Biggie, of course. Yeah, he's only in there five minutes. Totally. What? He did it. And then <laughs> we had questions about the dude who played Snoop. He so sounded Snoop, just like Snoop. We wanted to I know. thought it was a voice. We want to know. Snoop, was that you? Right. I'm not even was exaggerating. That your voice? He sounded just like him. I don't know if it was a voiceover or what. Or if he studied that. Like, like to the team. It might be his nephew. Something he had that he was like, Yeah, thing. yeah, cuz I've never seen somebody imitate somebody voice so good like that. Yeah, not even comedian. Yeah. Oh my god, he was on point. But um He's back to button. back to <laughs> He had he had the, the ninety three Snoop bro. He had the party city bro. Yeah. When, when he was on when Snoop was on Martin, that bro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> bro. You know I don't love them clothes. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, but okay, so it start it starts off with uh, uh Pac being interviewed in prison and kind of telling his story from there. And when I tell you that they jump around 
at the very beginning of that interview. Like, no character is getting time to flesh out their story for you to even remember them. I mean, because, you know, they have him in, like, uh, they, have, they start off with Afeni being pregnant. And, uh, you know, her trial and being in jail and everything and uh, have him as a little boy, like two, four years old, listening to Black Power Panther stuff and 10 years old and stuff like that. Just have home getting raided yeah, by the FBI and everything. And it lasts like all of two minutes. And th- like, it's, it, it, it jumped around a lot. And I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. I was getting frustrated. You could tell. That no, I was frustrated, frustrated from, from jump. jump. <laughs> soon as they show this face I try to keep my feelings in tow so when we get down here and we come to you guys so you won't know where I'm coming from so it can be fresh right. on screen right. and my reactions right. will be um, <laughs> genuine genuine yeah but I was all over the place in my seat it's all over the place I was baby. like I do I was in love with you <laughs> if he was to be my baby daddy he would have been my baby daddy my mom would have been mad and my daddy would have. Ugh. But I'm just saying, <laughs> Mr. Bosman, I'm just saying I love Tupac. His eyes, his eyebrows, his eyelashes, his cheeks, maybe not so much his haughtiness after a while, but what he knew and his acting skills and the experience that he had in Baltimore being in the school that he went to. Mm. I was in love with that. I was in love with the fact that his name was unique and it meant something. I was in love with that. The thug life meant Something. It was tatted an acronym, and he was tatted up, and he walked around with it on his shirt. Okay. <laughs> I just. I'm just saying. I would really like to know how younger kids who looking to see what Tupac was all about comes out with this, because I don't think you you will you won't get the full experience in this movie. It just it just doesn't happen. You can that Google way. more information. You can I got YouTube, tapes you can watch. Yeah, you can YouTube you more. more information. And gather it all together, mm-hmm. and and you will be able to come up with your own depiction of Tupac. Right, right. Because this one made it seem like I don't think this movie made it seem as if oh, this was not Tupac. I just don't. Did it feel forced to you? Yes. And whoever they got, the, they're. At, Whoever they chose, oh God. For faith. Yes. <laughs> Who in the y'all chose the wrong faith? Faith Evans. <laughs> Big ups to her. We love her oh, voice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her voice is unique. I She's love that raspiness. She got it because mm-hmm. I'm telling you that album when she came out. That's one of the best albums. That's a that was a female R. Kelly. That's classic. <laughs> that was a female R. Kelly. That was classic. You did some things on that time. Period. Sorry if he was married. Um. But who they chose to play her, she was beautiful. I won't take that away from her. Mm-hmm. But, no. Yeah, it, it, it just didn't work for me. I was disappointed. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I I was like, looking at my watch, like, is it time to go yet? Yeah, I kept asking him what time is it. The movie is two hours and 20 minutes long. Too long of a movie. It should have been an hour and a half. Yeah. I, it should have been an hour and a half. And they could have cut out the first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Had a uh, cameo in it. Chauncey. Pinky. Pinky is in there. In the, <laughs> Pinky's talking to Pac in jail. He made the film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he made the film. Oh, man. But yeah. um, the thing that if. Death, they made Death Row made it seem like it was so hard. It was. It was. They made it scary though. What they what they showed, I don't think it was it was even. But they showed a little bit of that in. Uh, yeah. Compton. Oh. But they say it was worse than that. That's I could imagine. Mm-hmm. They crazy. Yeah, it was, it was. Hey, they said they always walked up in their strap, man. They, but uh what do you think it'll do to play Shug Knight? His eyes wasn't scary. His eyes was inviting. Mm. Okay. He was he didn't give that he didn't give, he put, give, give, he didn't that give you that if don't look at me, I will kill you type okay. of shit. This one was All I wanna dancing. be your teddy bear. Sugar. All in the video. 
Because that shows his eyes is like the one in from uh, Straight Outta Compton. Out that Joker. <laughs> he was like, this one was like, I want to be your teddy bear. Okay. Sure. Because <laughs> I kept looking at him and I was like, oh, his eyes are inviting. So he didn't really scare me. You right. know, when he came and grabbed him. Oh, yeah. He didn't. You knew what was getting ready to happen, but you know, just. Y'all, you know what? We're not going to go too far right. into it because it's our But right. I really do need y'all to help me to see this movie and comment so we can go back and forth on a dialogue because I just was not feeling it at all. I'm going to have to give this one. <sighs> the statement we haven't even high? come. No. Yeah. We don't even have anything beneath that. No, we got the cheap uh, cafeteria pizza. No, we got to do lower than that. <sighs> no, you can't go lower, lower than that. You want to know why? The music. So you can't go lower than cafeteria It was pizza. the original Tupac. I know, but that's, it made the movie. That's what I'm saying. You can't go lower than the cafeteria pizza. But you the can't, music was you in can't consider it score. They, it was a Tupac movie. If you didn't have... You want to know why? Because when the music came on, you banged, you... So it was too hot. You, you at least give us some cheese to uh, after your pizza. And I hate to do that, man. I was so expecting this. I was like, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna listen to no critics, no nothing. I'm gonna go in, you know, anxious and excited. I give it to, I give it the cafeteria, cafeteria pizza, pizza, but they ran out of fries. Ooh, that's the worst combination right there. Cause there is no combo. Yeah. Definitely cafeteria pizza, man. If it wasn't for the music. And, yeah. and you know what? And the music is the, the pepperoni pizza. 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 Mm. That, that's what makes it flavorful. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I I wanted it to be He excellent. tried. He tried, but I think he yeah. didn't stick with what is it, Leo? Yeah, I think, I think the script could have been a little better. A whole lot better. Yeah. A whole lot Disappointing, man. I. That's all even, I got to say. I don't. You know what's more disappointing? I had to write a note for this one. Hmm. When he closed his eyes at the end, and they was pulling him out the car, and they started and they playing, started playing that damn song. Yeah. Yeah. Why should I be bound with? I'm like, okay, that's cool. If you had a spiritual base at the beginning. I can understand that. They was cutting from the UV. Right, but there was no mention of nothing spiritual throughout the whole thing. And then at the end, you put him on the car, you're going to play Marvin Sapp. And he was going in. Right. Like, Marvin Sapp was going in. Y'all know the song, Why Should I Be Bound? It's like, they don't really when he had add up to nothing. Man. It was, there was no. Um, yeah, I don't really know that song. I wouldn't actually say that. You wouldn't actually say that. <laughs> songs back then. <laughs> the ones that they would play on the regular <laughs> radio. I know a few of them. You know, know Spirit and Gold, you know. <laughs> hey. I mean, Silver and Gold, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to my heart, you know. Sorry guys. 
I got nothing else to say. I, I really, I really do need to have y'all see it and so we can chit chat. Cause yeah. if somebody that lived, a huge fan lived through all that, it just did nothing for me. Nothing at all. So we love y'all. We thank y'all for. Yeah. Anything else to say? Oh, even the studio scene was sucking. Yeah. Cause his lip syncing sucked. I thought the dude that was in Straight Outta Compton that was in the booth supposed to be Pac. He was better. I thought he was better as far as being his in the booth. His lip syncing. And, had, and, while, and smoking and, and, and the smoke coming out as he was rapping in the booth in Straight Outta Compton. Hey. That was like. Tupac was straight. I was like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. He had a straight menthol. Menthol. Oh, there's a lot of Hennessy weed and mm-hmm. blunts in this movie. It's what you can expect. But... <sighs> they didn't have no Alizé though, but it's all good. Hey, they didn't um, show him reading. No thug. Yeah, no thug. They didn't show him reading or nothing. I'm really highly disappointed in that. Because Tupac was known for a lot more than what they depicted. And they didn't even do none of his revolutionary scenes where he was talking about actually getting upset about bringing young young dudes together. It, man, I'm sorry. You got anything else to say? I'm just nope. I'm ready to put a, a nail in the coffin on this one. I don't want to say that. Yeah. But yeah. anywho. Well, we'll see the movie. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, Yeah, we thank y'all for tuning in. Give your opinion if you like. Yeah, we just disappointed. You got any, I don't think we got anybody to shout out this time, do we? No, let's shout out somebody on a different one. Okay, yeah, this is not the one. <sighs> so we'll, we'll see you later, guys. <laughs> Try, we're trying. We're trying. Man. Hey, but that's the Bill Armstrong. We'll give you a shout out. <laughs> right. Shout out to the Detroit Zone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the Winers. Right. Yeah. Clark Sisters. Yeah. The Moss we, family. We give y'all a shout out because y'all all <laughs> back in the day. Fred Hammond. That's all we knew on 90.1. North Carolina. We'll give y'all a shout out. Chip Rice. Shout outs in the morning time. In the morning time. <laughs> Wake up. Take it. Hallelujah. In the, no, 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 no. the morning time. All right. Well, we sang enough. Yep. Thank y'all for joining us. We love you. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Mary the Film. Uh, and Twitter at Mary the Film. So we will see you guys later. We'll probably be doing a re- uh, review for Transformers next week. And we love y'all. Can't and then you can do it. Love you. All right. Take care.